Good evening. How are we on July 7th? It is Saturday. I just got home from my outside gig where I'm lending a hand till I find a, another place to land. Um, things were slow. The way things are here in St. Louis, Missouri right now, the economy has really, really played havoc. The temperature, it's been like 100 degrees, 98 to 100 degrees. People are struggling financially. People are struggling to just, you know, figure out what is next. What makes you the expert in what you do? What have you studied that someone has questioned who you are and what you do and why you do the things you do? Were they there holding your hand as you were taking a test? Were they there the night you studied all night long because you had a paper that was due in the morning? When people accuse you of being something that you're not, were they there in those years as you were trying to become something different than who you've always been? And those people who can't get outside of their box, those people who were over-medicated by doctors who keep prescribing pill after pill after pill because people cannot cope, where they numb their emotions because they cannot figure out life, but yet they want to turn around and they want to criticize who you are and what you do because you were trying to be not only a better person, but you're trying to help a large amount of people to live life another way. What have you studied? What have you studied that somebody has questioned your abilities? I am Kitra Marie. I reside in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm an artist. I teach a variety of art classes. I have wrote for a couple magazines, been published. I do speak. When I have the opportunity on any platform, I speak. I studied for two years to be a life and a business coach to help with my art classes, not to be a doctor. Narcissism was my subject that I studied only because of the fact that I spent eight years with somebody who was a narcissist trying to figure out why somebody would be so mean and so cruel. I never claimed to be a doctor. No. I did it to help with my art classes. My art classes were up and running and moving till COVID. And then COVID came, people fell for the bullshit, and life got turned upside down. And some people are still struggling. People are still trying to get back to a place that they may never get back to. But no one has given you permission to stop pursuing your dream because somebody wants to criticize who you are, what you do, and how you do things. Yeah, we all have to work and we all have to earn an income and we all fall down and we all need help. But that never gives the right for anybody to chastise what you have attempted to put together to be a better human being. I reside in St. Louis, Missouri. I teach group painting classes. I teach how to move color around. I teach how to use brush and different techniques, how to form shapes into images groups, $45 a person. I life coach through psychology, law of attraction, through law of assumption, through a vision board. What is a vision board? A vision board is something that you can focus on so life looks just a little less bleak. It gives you hope. It gives you an offering of what life can look like on the other side if you do not give up on your dreams. Anybody can put a vision board together. Designers put a vision board together. Bankers put a vision board together. Everybody is entitled to put a vision board together when they get tired of their own bullshit. You know, I've spent 30 years in food and beverage, 30 years. I did damn good for a lot, a lot of years. 
industries change, rules of engagement change, customers have turnover, restaurants go through struggles. People do what they need to do in times of duress and nobody gets to criticize how they choose to cope. Again, people need help. People need a lot of help, but that never, ever gives the other person the right to chastise, to tear them apart, to criticize, to be mean, because they do not understand what is happening because it does not penetrate the bubble that they are living. I talk about this in my vision board class. I talk about how people have different coping mechanisms and the way that they lash out because they are frustrated, not understanding, and they don't care to understand because it interferes with what they have been doing for their own life. It's not a matter of who's right, it's who's wrong. It's a matter of it. There is a whole world right now that is struggling. And when someone tells you they cannot do something, odds are they really can't because their hands are tied due to whatever circumstances. And those that are out looking for extra jobs, the hoops... Everything is done online. Not everybody answers the things that they see online. You know, I've been looking for another outside gig. I've been looking for things to, you know, fillers till I find a place to land on the outside. There is a hiring process. And if you do not have the correct criteria for what somebody might be looking for, you get overlooked. They might get inundated with 500 emails and resumes. You know, usually the first 10 is what is seen. And usually in that 10, only two or three get brought in. And then there's a whole process to the hiring. People need to be a little bit more sensitive and have a little bit more compassion for those that are really, really trying to help themselves. Nobody should criticize and nobody should be judgmental. Nobody gets to tell you you didn't get to study, that you didn't study for the things that you were claiming to do in order to make you be a better person. But I'm Kitra Marie. I do reside in St. Louis, Missouri. I am an artist. I am a writer. I am a speaker. I am a life and a business coach. And what is a business coach? A business coach teaches you how to take your hobby and how to monetize it. Business coach teaches you how to go live, how to speak, how to have an elevator speech. Maybe not everybody wants what you have to offer. In my case, I teach art classes. I teach enrichment classes. People have to decide that there is something missing in their life in order to take the class. But maybe you have a product, maybe you have a service, maybe you have something somebody needs. Everybody has an idea, everybody has a, a, a gumption, or they should have a gumption to be authentic, to be raw, to go online, to speak your spiel. Somebody needs what you have to offer. And all of those social media gurus all those TV moguls, they all had a vision. And I'm sure somewhere along the line, someone told them, just go get a real job. It doesn't work like that. When you have a dream, when you have a desire, when you have a vision that you were seeing and you were working towards, you jump through hoops trying to manifest a life, trying to work with in the core of who you are and what your real abilities are to do jobs that you know how to do. They're not handing jobs out right now. People need to understand that. If you'd like to learn more, which if you'd like to take any of my classes, reach out Kitron underscore Marie at yahoo.com. Fate turns on a dime. You decide what side of the coin you want to be on. Take care, and I'll see you real soon.